Mount Lunaku in the Litoral region of Cameroon is one of the two circumscribed areas where the world's largest frog, the Goliath frog, lives. Key areas in the world that is a place close to the world's largest frog, which is endangered by the IUCN Red List classification. And it is found only in the Mount Lunaku area in the littoral region of Cameroon and in the Equatorial Guinea. Unfortunately, the pressure mounted by the adjacent communities on the critically endangered species gravely worries conservationists who are multiplying efforts to keep the species population from further declining. This particular endangered frog species is being hunted for pet traits for, uh, as a source of protein to the communities that live around here. And despite the fact that we have um, above 2,000 of them that are hunted during each peak season and sold to neighboring towns like Douala and to neighboring countries, uh, the population of these amphibian species is decreasing rapidly. In a bid to complement the multiple initiatives already taken to engage the adjacent communities, the Voice of Nature, a local NGO with interest on species conservation, is gainfully occupying these children of school-going ages with conservation knowledge so as to engage them in the protection of the Goliath frog. Children who hold the key to the future sustainability of this species are instead being taught on a daily basis how to design new trap to have a bigger cache. This makes the future conservation of this species very bleak. It is against this backdrop that we at Voice of Nature, Bonat, we decided to come out with an aggressive strategy to see how we can catch these children young, educate them, stir up their passion in the conservation of these endangered species and get them engaged in the conservation of these species so that they will grow up without understanding, without zeal to conserve the endangered species. Together with guides and experts in amphibian conservation, the angel took the students to the different areas where the frog is found and taught them on the diverse threats that endangered the species. You know, the children at this age, uh, they are the ones to be hunters of tomorrow. So if you are taking them today to the field, it's to show them uh, what will be able for them to not be hunters, to turn who will be the next hunters into ambassadors. So it was really important for us to show them what actually is the pleasure of having natural habitats in such a way that they can be the one telling the world about uh, what is uh, uh, conservation. The children have learned about the different threats that these amphibian species are exposed to, water pollution, uh, hunting, traps that have been set by the banks of the river. They have all discovered all of these and are actually seen for themselves that it is good for them to be involved in the conservation of this frog. After having been impacted on the different threats and solutions to keep the world's largest frog alive, the children took the initiatives of going back home to their communities and teaching their parents and loved ones on the different ways of conserving the Goliath frog. We are here at Mount Mangaba to discover and learn more about the Goliath frog. After learning about the Goliath frog, we have come to understand the importance of conserving biodiversity, especially aspects of pollution and destruction of species habitats, for it is going to be in this way that we shall keep these species alive. We will therefore engage in sensitizing the population to avoid polluting the waters and also avoid certain traps that kill those frogs. So today we, come, we came to learn about the frogs, where they live and how to preserve them and not to harm them. So we learn about how to, to stop killing them and take, to also take care of them. Today we have come today to look to search more about the Goya frog, where they live and how to locate someone who is uh, moving at the forest to search for, the, to search for it and since that make them not be endangered, what destroy them and what to make to keep them well, for them not to die, to keep them well and 
how they produce their own eggs during the seasons in which they come and the season in which they are not there. It is hoped that initiatives like these multiply the efforts of other conservationists in the quest of preventing the Goliath frog population from going extinct.